Skyping with my friend, the other day, I was talking to an online friend of mine over Skype, she said, some weird things have been happening to me lately, I replied with a quick, sure tell me. I never really believed in this whole ghost or paranormal things up until now, so I'm a bit nervous, and I think I might just be overreacting, but the doctors haven't found anything psychologically wrong with me, so if you're just gonna think I'm crazy then tell me now cause I'll just leave. I could tell from her reluctance that this must have been really freaking her out, I assured her, okay, here it goes then. She said and then typed up her story, it began a few weeks ago after I read some ridiculous chain letter that I didn't forward, I didn't think anything of it because. Like I said, I didn't believe in that stuff and the chain letter was something about creatures wearing human skin that blend in with humans I don't know. I don't really think it's related, but it started after I deleted it. It first started at the market, while I was in line. I noticed that the bagger was staring at me, he was smiling a bit too uncomfortably at me, like, he wasn't using his muscles to smile, it was more like someone took two fingers to his cheeks and pulled upwards to draw the corner of his lips into a smile, I know I know that sounds way stupid. Doesn't it, anyways, I smiled politely at him and took my groceries from the end of the belt when he finished bagging them, I freed up a hand and I thanked him for his service, and that's when it happened, his lips moved and he said in a deep voice, you're welcome, miss. I stood there in complete shock for a moment, I figured I must have been exhausted because there's no way that just happened, the next day, I was walking down the street, the air was chill and cold, and I was enjoying all the smells and sensations of the upcoming fall. That's when it happened again, I saw a woman staring at me, she didn't take her eyes off me, she had that same eerie smile, it was uncomfortable, as she got closer to me, she parted her lips and spoke to me, nice weather today, isn't it miss, and then nodded and kept walking. I stopped in my tracks once more, it was dizzying because of its impossibility, several other people spoke to me since then, it was always innocuous things like, need any help today, ma'am, or, you're looking lovely today, nothing vicious. The strangers were all very friendly, albeit all with that same creepy grin, but the mere fact it was happening was terrifying and yet also strangely hope-bringing, does that sound right, I don't know, but soon, everywhere I went, I would hear voices of certain people I was near, exchanging pleasantries with me, I even told my doctor this and he assured me that no, it isn't possible that this could happen, and yet I know it is, it is happening to me, frankly, I was confused as shit.